what I've got here is my uh, testing web application. And what you can see uh, on my screen is a profile, right? Uh, my name is David and you see my profile here. And what I can do right now is I can just scroll down here and I can upload a new photo, right? Th which is really kind of a basic functionality in many web applications. So uh, I'm gonna do it right now. But instead of, you know, uploading, um, you know, real photo, my, my real uh, image, I'm going to um, upload an SVG file with a script because I want to launch an Exorcist attack via image. So before I upload this SVG file, I want to show you this file because, you know, you need to see it in order to understand how it works step by step. So uh, let me go here. I've got this SVG file. So as I told you in the technical overview, an SVG is an XML-based graphical file format, and now you can see it. And it can contain scripts. So what you can see here is a perfectly legitimate, valid SVG file. And uh, what we've got here, for example, the line number three and four, the rectangle and the line are created, right? But this is not interesting from a security point of view. What is interesting from security point of view is this line, the line number two. I've got a very simple proof of concept. Script alert access close script. This is interesting from the attacker's point of view. And you can clearly see in, in line number one that this is an uh, SVG, right? So this is it. Uh, you can just uh, take this file, you can upload it to the web application and you can see if indeed an uh, access via SVG is possible or not. So uh, now you've got uh, the understanding of SVG you understand how to put a script inside the SVG. And again, this is a perfectly legitimate SVG file. But what we've got inside is a script. But again, scripting is allowed in SVG files. And this is really risky from security point of view, uh, but not many people are aware of it. Okay, so let me right now go to my web application. Again, you can see my name here in the upper right corner, uh, David. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, change my photo. So I'm gonna click browse and um, I will select this, xss.svg. And this is how this SVG file looks like, right? So it looks like, well, very, uh, let's say, uh, it's not a complicated uh, image, but it doesn't matter. It has script inside, okay? So let me now click open and I'm gonna upload it. Nice success profile photo updated. And this is my beautiful uh, new photo. And now I'm gonna copy a link to this photo, okay? Because, well, I'm gonna launch an XSS attack. So copy image location and I will go to another browser in my lab. And in another browser, I've got another user, Michael. Uh, let's take a look here in the upper right corner. So I'm gonna right now, and, and this is the profile of Michael, but right now I'm gonna access Michael, right? Or launch an access attack against Michael. So in the URL bar, I will uh, paste uh, the link to this SVG file that has been uploaded to the same web application, right? Because uh, both um, David, so me, and Michael are users of uh, this web application hosted on the domain example.com. So uh, what you can see in the URL bar is just a link to the SVG file that I just uploaded. So this is example.com slash upload slash pictures slash photo, some random string of characters, xss.svg, because it was the name of this file that I uploaded, okay? So this is my SVG, and now I'm gonna hit enter, and let's see what's gonna happen. XSS, which is beautiful, right? 
And now you see that indeed it works. So yeah, that's uh, so easy. You can upload this SVG file and then you can send a link to this file to the victim. And once this link is clicked exactly, you know, how I presented in this demo, then the game is over. You've got an XSS and this is stored XSS because right now this SVG file is stored on the, you know, uh, server side. Uh, so this way you can really easily attack uh, other users uh, of, of the system. So now I believe that it is clear. I explained every single step of this attack. I hope that you like this attack. So let's jump uh, to the next video.